This belt driven video was brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is a perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. CGTV and more specifically welcome back to a long awaited video. I've been meaning to do this video for a long long time but I'm a very busy bee and the owner of this car here is a very busy bee. None other than my twin brother. Today we're going to take out the KM Turbo Coupe and we're going to go for the long awaited inaugural first drive. So here he is, he's here, we've pulled over in a petrol Lovely, station Lovely. and we've got Archie here as well. So we're going to go out for a little drive. What? San Pellegrino, is it? I'm um, saying hydrated, it's the summer. <laughs> Don't want water attention. <laughs> Carbonated drinks can cause osteoporosis, Archie. Oh, really? Wow. God, that's shock. Well, that's really horrible. Is that part of your vegan book as well? Vegan book, right. Okay, so we're going for a drive, are we not, James? Uh, so you bought this car a little while ago from Baytree yep. Cars. Yep. Did you not? Yep. You've got a personalised plate on it from Red's Transfers, do you not? Yeah, and I've done the windows as well, so it looks nice from the side. You've done the windows as well, you've tinted the windows. Uh, KN Turbo Coupe, what else to tell you? What else to tell us, James? It's got the lightweight pack as well, as you probably already know. Magnesium wheels, upgraded brakes, carbon roof. Uh, obviously the interior is different. Yeah, we're going to jump in and go for a spin as well. Do you want to just fire up? Yeah. Because we're going actually, to cover yeah, most yeah, yeah. things when we go for a little drive. You're coming as well, unfortunately. Lovely. Unless you keep abusing me for being vegan, in which case. It's a new thing. You told oh. me it's a new thing. I like it. You I'm, don't eat much meat anymore? Not more. Not, not a lot. I, well, about maybe once a week, max. That's good. Meat consumption being cut down is a good thing. Not preachy. Uh, in recent times, I've had. I just thought I'd definitely need it. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Archie. I'm proud of you, mate. Well done. Thanks, yeah. Well, if only we could all do that. I'll, yeah. I'll fire this one. As you all know, the wing is always up. Deployable wing. It always needs to be up, doesn't it, Archie? Apart from when you park up, you put it down. Yeah. Go I'm fire I'm up, please. Unsure on the wing bit, but it's what fine. Do you mean you're unsure on the wing? All right. <laughs> we've. Just, yeah. Can you get rid of it before I come back? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <Are you laughs> <wrong? Are> you... <laughs> fire up, for God's it sake. It's just. It, yeah. Come on, lad. Get it going. Get it going, lad. Oh! Is that it? Is that all we're getting? I mean, fuel is expensive, so a couple of revs is fine. Was that enough? Yeah, that was enough, James. Very Excellent. nice place in here, actually. Really nice in there. Very nice. Bay Tree sourced an absolute corker here. Very nice indeed. We can see the GoPros because that means there's only one thing for it. I think we'll go for a little spin and we'll see how you're getting on with the KN Turbo Coupe. What you've got coming next, plans. We might grill you on what you've got coming next as well. No, nothing at the moment. Audi Hamilton. Nothing coming at the moment. I've just bought a flat, leave me alone. <laughs> Audi Hamilton. I've just bought a flat in London, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me again. Oh, is it a one bed? No. <laughs> Got you. How many bathrooms? Two bed, two bath. Does it have a balcony? Yeah. <laughs> Outdoor space? Yeah. Vitamin D? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay, Audi Hamilton, get in the car. Pro Why? Property owner, get in the car. <laughs> nah, he all likes he that. That's all oh, he wanted. I could get used to that. Yeah. <laughs> I could get used to that. I could. That's all you wanted. Just oh. to hear that. What a what a what? Well done, actually, on that note. I like, I like to support positivity. Well done. That's good. It's a big achievement. Come get me. Come. <laughs> Crying out loud. Well, let's get in. Actually, on that note, I need to push Get in the car. Get, get in the car. Both of you. I'm Go so ahead. sick of it. I've had enough of you as well. Get in. Yeah, get I in. think I'm getting in. Okay, we're not going to the gym. <laughs> Mate, where are you going? <laughs> Utility trousers. What are you? <laughs> Laying the floor. What are you doing? Laying the floor, mate. Get your standing knife out. Exactly. What about the shoes? Getting in the circus, are you? What are you going to do? What are you doing? Working for Dulux and showing me all the colour options? Go away, mate. Honestly. I've had enough of you and you're... You go to the gym? Yeah, what's that? Carbonated water, mate. Doesn't make you clever, trust me, that. Right, we're off then. Very nice. Very nice. All aboard the can turbo. So talk us through, what settings have you got on? At the moment, we're in London. We're driving in. It's in drive. Well, yeah, it's going to be in drive. It's not going to be in reverse, is it? Yeah, well, obviously, but no, it's no, a bit simple. Just yeah, so easy, but it? this one here that it looks like a D, but it's not. It's no, just normal driving. It's the normal mode, not sport, not sport plus. It's actually called normal. 
It is. Okay, that, that's what I was going for. Sorry, you're looking at the screen and I'm looking at the, the Manatino here because you can adjust it on both. Which is the same thing. Yeah, Manatino. Exactly. Yeah? Manatino. Yeah, but you said we had it in drive. I was like, I know you got in drive, we're moving. All right, well, how are we arguing in the first five seconds? Where are we going anyway? Straight over, please. Straight over. Up the hill? Yes. All right, shut up. I, I know my Range Rover, which we've just been in, you've got an exhaust button as well, so you've got that on. So how do you, how are you finding it? Are you going to hold on to it? I want your, I want your uh, concentrated thoughts on the topic. So, as you know, I like to waft around in, in comfort, and I was a little bit concerned that this would be miles away from that, being a lot more sporty than a Range Rover, obviously. Yeah. But I must confess, left lane or straight on, lads? Straight on. Okay. Well, look, now this is a faster. This, this is what you don't get in a Range Rover. Ah, do no, you? don't do that again. Okay. Do so, do not do that again. Please. <laughs> There's nothing idiotic about that. Oh, we're going through a little tunnel, actually. Just do something a little bit idiotic. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, I don't like that, actually. No, it's no, too big to no, be doing no, that. that. No, okay, so. Stop now. Basically. Stop now. No, I've completely stopped and chilled. So, what okay. I'm saying is, okay. the Range Rover is obviously wafty, etc. And I thought, right, I, all I want to do is waft around. But now I've got this, it does comfortable very well. Yep. It does cruising very, very well. Yep. It handles amazingly, which is actually nice when you don't go around a corner and don't roll out of a seat. Because, yep. as you know, I'm sure your Range Rover's vastly improved over mine. So but cool. seats are really, really cool. The presence it has is way greater than I thought it was going to have. Every single person looks at it, which you're lying if you say you don't care about that. Most people do care. Yeah, I do course. care, put my hands up, I do. Yeah. So overall, as a package, and I like the fact that I haven't seen another one in my ownership, the same. And that to I me, I really like. This. No. I like the, I like the grey. The, the, the colour, the fact that it's coupe, I just love the... Mate, that was the least helpful <laughs> feedback. I like, like the colour and the way it looks. I like the grey. And the, the way it looks. sat on the mat. <laughs> Get out! Sorry. But, as I an do overall, like the way it looks. Genuinely though, I like the way it looks. I think it looks sick. Yeah, as an overall package, I don't think there's anything comparable. Shut up, Tom! Like, there might be a GLE. What's wrong with that? I'm allowed to say how it looks, idiot. There's a GLE, which is obviously Mercedes, but I just think the Porsche's in another league. How that are you two angle, still going at it? That, that camera angle back there yeah. is going to be grotesque. It's fine. People I can like just zoom it in in the edit as well and just fill your whole face on the yeah, screen. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's not fine. The viewing audience will not want that. No, it's fine. So money-wise then, how much is this thing? It's 115. Right. Um, it's cheaper than my Range new. Rover. Um, well, I didn't buy it new, obviously. I don't yeah. actually... This sounds really, really... Baytree! Amazing. Big up Baytree Cars! Yeah, so I got it from Baytree Cars, as you know. Yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't the car I was actually looking for, but this spec, as you know, and I'm sure we'll, we'll see it in this video, but it's a lightweight spec as well. Cabin. So you've got carbon Cabin. everywhere. You've got these special seats as well, which I know Tom's a fan of the stitch pattern in these, the turbo I actually seats. bought this fabric for yeah. one of my 911s because it's so cool. And it's, it's part of the lightweight pack. And, and Peter the Helms whole did. roof is carbon, which looks amazing. Mm. And then obviously it's got the wheels, which is which are different to the normal, um, and the brakes as well. So it's got a huge kind of like package on it, again, that just distinguishes it from other KNs. Yeah, and I, I really, love that. Really cool. like Alcantara it, everywhere. Whole, whole Alcantara roof. Alan line. Cantara. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. No, you think you're clever? I, I was smiling actually, I quite enjoyed Alan Cantara. <laughs> yeah. He got funny in the second oh, Do you know what? The more I think funny. about it, it's good. Yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Alan Cantara is good. But it's fine. It in my head is like having the performance of an SVR or something like that, but the driving ability and comfort and it's kind of like capability of a 911 and the Porsche build quality, which goes a long way because Porsche is just I would the have best. one of these over a Range Rover Sport SVR. Ooh, Every no, single I agree with that. day of the agree week. It's five times a car in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it is, five yeah. Sport yeah. SVRs it's a Porsche. played out. Yeah. That's been the thing. Dragged. Yeah, That's the Porsche. other thing. It's a yeah. Porsche. And boring stuff, which people may not be caring about as much, but I do. I know we talk about it. Fuel. Yeah, I was going to ask that. So, um, I've actually, as you know, I don't really drive a huge amount. I'm, I'm on the bike most of the time. But the long yeah, motorway run that. I've done, it matches the same as my diesel Range Rover, which is incredible. So oh. driven sensibly at 70 on the motorway, I got an average of 34.8. No, really? Driving sensibly home. So it's extremely, extremely good on fuel. Obviously round town and when you're driving like little snippets and bursts. 34 of, though, you'd have that. But on a motorway, that's really it's, good. Not it's not troubled at all. So it's incredible. I think Porsche are really good at that because I got 37 average out of my Turbo S on a Cotswolds run. 37. This is what I mean, what and people don't realise that. And you're not, and in, in an SVR, you're getting half. That, that is good, isn't it? I was driving 
unbearably. I was slipstreaming people and everything. No, Not I was targeting. trying to see what I could get, like, sensibly out of it, but it matches a diesel range over, like... Yeah. And I was I, I, one thing I was worried about is being uncomfortable. I haven't been uncomfortable in this once, whether it's a longer journey, a short journey, I've always felt so comfortable. I must admit, we've just got out of my autobiography into this, yeah. and I thought I was going to feel like I was jumping in a tractor. Yeah. But it's actually... Oh, what was that about? Are they just committed a robbery? I don't know, they were a lot happy about something. Quite they were happy about something. Tell me where I'm going as well, lads, because I'm going to get lost in route. Whenever you want to turn around, you may. Okay, well, I haven't got a clue where I am, so, so that's helpful. You can't turn right here, it's pro <laughs> prohibited. Can I turn left here? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Left, left down here? Yeah, yeah you can go left, left there. Yeah, check the blind spot, mirror, check the blind spot, spin box, box, box. Uh, one thing though, you don't have, you don't have rear wheel steer, do you not? I don't have rear wheel steer, but it is a coupe, it's substantially smaller than a Range Rover, and I don't feel like I do need it. Maybe go right. It doesn't feel very right boaty, here. does it? No, but that's what I actually, do you know what? I actually really, really like that because I feel like it's just very nimble and planted. Oh no. You've that's right, we're going to do a three point turn here because no one else can come down here either. So. But everything in it, like the reversing camera, everything in it. Yeah. And I tell you one thing over a Range Rover, and no disrespect, because I'm sure your new Range Rover is going to be totally different. But one thing I really, really do like on this is I don't get in it and think, oh no, like what's going to happen here? Like, yeah, is I something going to flash up? Is something going to moan? Is something going to break? And I know- You weren't in this. I've never had an issue touch wood with my Range Rover, to be fair, but it's just that thought in my head that everyone's just always- that all Porsche, the yeah. just turnkey, that kind yeah. of, you just don't even think about it. It's like, the Porsche should be fine, just go in that. Like, mm. there's no issues. It's an eight-speed gearbox, is that the same as your Turbo S as well? Yeah, it'll be roughly the same, I suspect. It's probably what helps PDK. the fuel, fuel economy, is the eight-speed. Like, yeah. on the motorway, it's just chilling at like low, low revs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, is it going? How long are you gonna have it for? I don't know what the game plan really is at the moment. Um, when you get your as Range you know, Rover, I've got I've got new cars on order, um, but I don't have, you know, apart from, I don't know. It's kind of, I sort of feel like, can I justify? Can I not? We've got a police car coming. You come? Do they like the Porsche? They want you to use them out the curb. You're not gonna do that though. Are you? Look at, not with magnesium wheels on the lightweight pack time. We're not going out the curb. <laughs> no, we're not. No. So no. I just think like it. I, in my head, I can justify it because it's totally different from a range. So I might keep them both. It's fine by me, mate. Do what you want. Because it's performance as well. Well, the merrier. That's my motto. Um, I, I, I think when the range comes, you you will naturally just sell this anyway. Mm. Not not because it's a bad car. It's a very good car. But just the point is, I don't think you're going to use. But I don't think you will use this. I don't even use one. But I yeah. just like having things. Fair but That's also, I'm not in a rush because the residual value on this car is going to be extremely strong. As you know, like Porsche production has slowed down, um, and go and find another lightweight pack K and Coupe Turbo with like mega low miles and a big spec. Yeah, go for one. You can't. It's only simple. Hence why I snapped up as soon as Bay Tree cars went. Do you want that? So Bay Tree cars are mega, um, and should you be getting a supercar, you'll be getting one from there, no doubt. Well, yeah, I've actually been, <laughs> I've actually been talking to them about summer plans. So. Uh, I just noticed that every time they get something in spec, it's just good. It's just always a nice example, yeah, big spec. They don't mess mileage. around, they don't they deal don't. with turds. No, they, they don't deal with turds, exactly. So, much like I bought this, didn't intend to get this, I'm sure, I'm actually gonna go and have a little shop there quite soon, I think. I'm sure it might make a video, it might make a video. Does it? Is that a video? Yeah, I'll make a video up there. Anything's a video these days. I've got a load of integrations to get rid of, so yeah. So we'll ring old Matt and Chris and say, Matt and Chris, no, Archie, are you coming to Bay Tree? <laughs> I heard it. I heard Archie, it. are you coming to Bay Tree Cars for a shop? Yes, when? Wait, actually, you'll be shopping for something. Very soon, I'm after my supercar, correct? At some oh, point. It's Not gonna... well. Archie Hamilton dailies? No, go away. At some point, I will be on the hunt for a supercar. As you are well aware, I have been. Um, had a property, James, that I bought. So I'm you, just. You, know, you must hold off on the leveraging until uh, completion because they will do a hunter search, a deep dive on your credit score um, just before you complete, and they'll do a final check of your credit score. They'll do a deep dive, and if you loaded anything on there between your mortgage offer and your completion, they will say, ah, ah. revocation of the offer, revocation, alert, 10 4, alert. Yeah. Right. Do you know what in my head, and you're going to think I'm mad? When I sit in this, I think. And I'll see an Urus. Don't get me wrong, it's a Lamborghini, I get it. I don't care. I bearing in mind it's half the money of an Urus. This is the same engine as the Urus, is it not? It's a V8 4 litre twin yeah. turbo, yeah. Yeah. Same so thing. I don't sit in it. I think I've got the speed, I've got the comfort, I've got the servicing costs as a fraction. And people don't hate you Urus. quite as much. People uh, what have to, you service servicing costs on Porsches are fixed price service intervals, aren't they? So they're just like you get a minor and a major and they're every two years or every twenty thousand miles, mate. So Again, yeah. you're up like on that kind of stuff, and that annoys me. That stuff, not least the headache of taking the car there, but it's the expense. 
Yeah. Just knowing what Lambo are like, you're always going to walk out with you know your pants around your ankle, probably. That's if they give the pants back to you half the time. Yeah, they'll have those. They'll have them, won't they? They will, James. Yeah. It's comfy in the back. Mate, it's I'll very comfy. Back very comfortable car. Oh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. And that's having just all come out of a 2022 autobiography. So that's an accolade, really. That is an accolade, James. Yeah. Oh, there's always James on the end, to let him know what his name is. Like I say, his name, James. Yes, okay, Archie. <laughs> uh, this is, what have you got coming? You've got an RS6 wrapped in a colour that you'll really like, Archie. I'm going to slow down so you can see it. It does oh, look good as well. It looks good. It is an RS6 in grey. We've got the technology. I can film it. I can put it in the video. Film it. It, it looks, looks good. It's got tan seats. Oh, left hand left drive. Hand drive. Left, hooker. left hand drive in English What play. kit's that? Uh, that's the Urban kit. That looks incredible. That does look good. Left hand drive on an English plane. But can I just say something again? I don't get it. Being in the Cayenne Turbo, I promise you now, I don't care, I'd rather have this. And SUV. I, yeah. SUV. I'd I've much done rather the RS6. Well, done. I'm well aware you've done it. Twice. Does it good? It does I've look it, good. But I've done it twice. But we talk about residuals as well. Yeah. That, if you bought that at the same time you bought this, for arguably mm. similar money, that's having a bath. This isn't having a bath. They're 106 grand now for a bath. But what I'm saying, if you would have paid similar money. 106. 115. I bought a carbon car for. Here we go again. And I got all my money back. Imagine if you'd paid like 125 on, for like a green one with tan seats. Nice spec there, Tom. It's a nice spec, but. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you saw one in the morning after that. I, after that settlement figure. I got. I got out clean on mine. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong, I just like being I like being high up. This is a good compromise between sport sporty, comfortable, high up, SUV, don't know what this van's gonna do, so let's not chance it. Um and do you know what it's nice to be in a car that's not black, 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 black for once. Which I've had I've been saying that for I years. I need to stop doing that. No, no, you're right, you're right. It's been dragged, it's been played out, it's finished. And the, the fact whole these, thing's rubbish. I suppose another thing to touch on as well, people always say, oh modifications, like what modifications, blah blah blah. This car genuinely I've obviously done the front windows on it, just because I wanted the whole side of the car to be sort of the and same. And sometimes you want to drive around picking your nose. Well, you know? yeah, no, just just I think tents sort it out. It makes the coupe look Comedian. so much better. But other than that, it wants for nothing. People are like, are you going to remap it? No, it's so quick, naturally. Yeah, so fast. Leave it alone. I've had enough of playing around with cars. I played around with the wheels on my Range Rover and I needed to replace the tire pressure sensor monitors uh, when I gave the car back, because they're all, they all just, Screwed get basically, you. yeah. It was like 400 quid, yeah. That's, I just yeah, yeah. didn't either. And excess mileage and all sorts of rubbish. I'm not lowering cars anymore, that's one thing. No, it's not fine. Don't lower them. The amount of you know RD that goes into the ride and the damping no, and the no, 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 I know. testing, and you you and go to some shop shop and drop the cars. So space stupid, and do stuff to an RS6 or anything. Looks shocking. So stupid. Uh, the guys at uh, Land Rover actually told me off for putting wheels on my Range Rover. They were like, "What are you doing? Like that's just completely screwed up. Like how the car um, like talks to itself. Like you're a complete idiot." I was like, yeah. yeah wow, well, a little better, didn't it? Actually, low-profile tyres. That's the only thing I don't like about the Range Rover with 23s on it. Low-profile tyres. Yeah. Puncture city. Really. I got two punctures yet. Yeah. Just hitting ditches in the Cotswolds. Oh, this guy's going to squeeze in here. No way. He's not. No, he's not. He's just being a prat. All right, there he we is. go. Exciting end. Oh, he is. Thank you very much for watching whilst we. No, it's fine. It's fine. He's not doing it anymore. He just was he using the car? No, was he's it? coming back for more. I can't. I'm getting out because I'm gonna have to a apprehend him. I've had it. I've had it. That's. What is going on here? No, 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 no. He's no, gonna no, take a bit no, of curb. No, he's no, taking no, some no. curb. He's got some curb. <laughs> Chaos. Oh my god. I mean. What on earth? That is not a thing. What are you doing? This is London. No, this, you know when people say, why no. don't you drive your nice cars around? How am I going to get out of there? Like, what are you doing? I can't get out. Drive is causing... <laughs> okay, we're going to leave that. Okay, so on that note, there's an altercation going on outside. Thank you very much for watching. To subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Now, I want to bring you some amazing benefits with Squarespace. If you've ever dreamed of setting up your own website, be it for a passion, for pleasure, 
or for business, you're in the perfect place with Squarespace. Squarespace has got loads of tools to help you build exactly what you want online and get the most out of it in the most time efficient way. The first really useful feature that I'm obviously a huge fan of is the fact that you can integrate your social media really easily into a Squarespace website. You've got all the tools to enable you to do that really, really easily. The second thing, if you're a busy bee like me, you can backload content and it will upload to your website in a time delayed way. So if you've got a busy afternoon and you've got a free afternoon, you can just dump all the content and make all the content one afternoon and then your website will drop it all out over time and put it all on the site in a time released sensible way. The third thing that's really, really useful is the fact that if you're developing a website, you'll know that you actually need to develop two versions, one for a desktop and one from your mobile device. Most people actually view websites on mobile devices, so it's really, really key to have a mobile optimized website and Squarespace allows you to develop Develop both pretty much at the same time with ease. Another thing that's particularly pertinent if you're running an online business is email campaigns. Squarespace allows you to set up amazing, effective email campaigns within your website. Really, really key. And final thing that I want to touch on, you can actually set up subscriptions. And again, something that I personally use with great effect is a subscription model for Crep Chief Notify. Again, that's really, really key. It allows you to build recurring revenue and actually add huge value to your business as well. All those things and many, many more are part of the reason why Squarespace really is an unbelievable place to start and build a website. Now, as an exclusive offer for you guys, if you click the link below, you'll get a free trial. And when you are ready to get going, you'll get 10% off your first order with Squarespace. So get in the mix, use that specific link below, use the code below, make sure you do it all, otherwise you won't get the discount. Get clicking, enjoy, get creating, and as always, keep in touch with what you are creating.